Hey everyone, I got a message today about a fairly new stacker. They've been stacking in the last year or so. And they were really concerned about the silver price as far as it going down almost a dollar from its peak just a couple days ago. And they were asking for my opinion. And so I gave them my opinion or my thoughts on the, on the situation. And so I figured it was a pretty good topic to bring up to everybody else as far as uh, my thoughts on the silver price going down that much so so quickly. Okay, so here we go. Before I get into that though, a lot of people are gonna ask me, um, these bars are made by prospectors, gold and gems. Um, this, I wanted to, while I was talking to you guys, I wanted to just show off some silver I haven't shown in a while. Um, those are the two one ounce bars. They're little poured bars that I got years and years ago. I have a hundred of the skull and crossbow and hundred of the regular ones. The treasure chest, um, I bought off eBay, fairly cheap. I think I got it for, I don't know, 30 bucks or something like that. You can find them, just, just uh, search for treasure chest. This one was actually a decanter set, actually had two little bottles on each side. I got this one just because I had a divider in between. And so I separated out my, my bars so I can keep them separated. So I know I was gonna get questions on that, so there you go. Okay, back, back to the topic about what to do when the, the price of silver is going down um, so quickly over a short period of time. So, the advice I gave to that person was, <laughs> in short, don't worry about it. Um, there's, when I first started stacking, I also, from day to day, I was uh, looking at the price every day. You know, I was super excited stacking silver, gung-ho, like, Silver is the best investment ever. And I know all new stackers have the same feeling. It's like you just found something that is just incredible and and it's gonna do so awesome and you're so smart for picking it up and everything. So you are super, super gung-ho. And then, you know, you, you have these ideas that silver is just gonna go up and up and up and you can't even fathom the idea that it's gonna go down because of everything you've read or heard or things like that. Well, newsflash, it can. Um, silver is so volatile that it is gonna go up and it is gonna go down. My suggestion to, for instance, you know, in the last two days from the highs to the lows, my stack consists of 14,000 ounces. So my stack's value is down by 14 grand. And I told him, I'm not concerned about that at all. I mean, silver's gonna go up, silver's gonna go down. And then again, I don't get that excited when silver's up just a dollar because I know how easily it can go back down that dollar. Um, I've been here long enough to see it happen over and over and over again. And you know, you have these people come out and like, oh, this time it's different. This time is different. Um, one of those times they're gonna be right. <laughs> one of those times they're absolutely gonna right, be right. One of these times it is gonna be different and silver is gonna perform like it's never performed before, but don't get your hopes up and don't every single time, don't don't count on this being the, the time that it's different. I suggest people stop looking at the day-to-day -day price fluctuations of silver. If you're in silver, well, if you're in physical silver, I'm guessing and I'm hoping that you're in it for the long haul, not just a, you know, just a quick, like in one year you're gonna get rich because I have bad news for you. You're most likely not, I guess it's possible. Um, but I don't think it will happen. Uh, if it does, then I'll be super happy and I'll, I'll look like a freaking genius, but that's not how I think everything is gonna play out. I don't think in one year silver is gonna make us all rich at all. Um, so my thoughts are, or like I said, what I told him is, you know, do not look at the silver price, the day-to-day -day silver price, and definitely do not get too excited or too depressed when the prices go up or down, because guess what? That is absolutely what they do, time and time again. Um, making my pyramid here. I don't know if I have enough for one more uh, row or not. Getting distracted, silver is distracting. It's been a long time since I actually seen my, uh, my prospector's gold and gems bars. They do really make a nice quality product. Um, But yeah, so anyways, don't 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 look at the daily prices. You'll be out, you know, and you'll your uh, sanity will be a lot better for it. 
Um, I never did that. I, I did buy more when the prices were lower. So I would look at the prices when I go to buy. Um, but that, that'd be about the only time I look at the prices. Maybe once a week, you know, I'll, I'll check it on my app or something like that. It's not, the price is silver, the, the day to day or even like week to week. Um, isn't that relevant to me anyways, because I have a long-term outlook for uh, silver. So if silver goes back down to $13 or $14, I'm not gonna care. All, all, all that would mean is that I'm a buyer again. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an accumulator. I will go ahead and accumulate a bunch of it at that price. So um, that, that, that's all it means. So when the price goes down, I almost kind of see that as a good thing. You know, I, I kind of feel bad when the price making a whole bunch of racket. Not sure you can hear me, but uh, I'm uh, I'm not even sure if I like the price all that high right away. So you know, I have to backtrace a little bit. We'll just see how, what happens. But all I want to tell everybody is, don't get discouraged about the silver price. You know why you bought it. You know that it's, it, it's good long term, and just just take uh, solace in that. So don't get scared out. Don't don't panic sell because that's absolutely the worst thing you can do. I know this one guy. Oh my God, he he asked me for uh, advice so many times, and I kept giving it to him. And I don't know if he was really doing this, but sorry guys, I'm just rambling. But I'm I'm playing with my silver, so oh, you guys can see that. Hold on, let me. I'm just let me put that down there. I'm getting some of the the bigger bars are down at the bottom. So. All right, apparently that pyramid. I now have room to show all my pyramids. So let me get some of these one ounces out of the way. I sure there's a hundred of them. Get some of those out of the way so I can get to the bigger bars. But anyways, I digress. Back, back to this guy I kept giving advice to. Big fan, you know, he said he started stacking silver because of my videos and all that. So I, I felt compelled to help, you know, help give him some advice or whatnot. And, you know, he was stacking, he was stacking like gung-ho, like, putting his whole paycheck into it. And I advised him, please, please don't do that. You know, you need an emergency fund. You need, don't, don't go all in the silver at once. You know, it's not, it's not like, you know, he had FOMO, he had a fear of missing out. He just, and mind you, this was years and years ago. Um, he just, and, and I think the price of silver was right around the same as it is right now, um, 17, 18. So it's not like, you know, it was down in the 13s or anything like that. So, you know, he just had the fear of missing out and he was, I, he canceled his 401k and he bought, I think like $10,000 worth of silver. He bought like 10 grand worth of silver. And then the silver prices, he was also putting all of his extra money into it. And he, he spent his, so basically he was living paycheck to paycheck, but he bought like $10,000 worth of silver. Um, which is insane to me, which, you know, he was asking for my advice, but he was apparently not taking my advice. But so that's, you know, he was all gung ho. I, I remember I was all gung ho. I never did anything like that because I tried to like have a little more common sense, but so he did all that and then something happened. He lost his job um, shortly thereafter. So he had to start selling all that. And, and, and since then, you know, the price of silver had gone down as we all know, the price of silver went down. I think it was down in the 14, 15, so you lost a couple of dollars and you know, it's physical silver. So, you know, you're gonna lose a dollar or two just on the spread itself. So he lost all that, you know, he, he, he sold it. He, he had to sell off, I think almost his whole stack. He had very little left, just maybe some uh, other little pieces, some little pieces that maybe had sentimental value or things like that. Like maybe his first piece of silver or something like that. So he sold it all off. And, you know, he's all mad and annoyed they had to sell it off like that. And then he got a new job again. And uh, wouldn't you know it, he started he started stacking again without without getting an emergency. And this is insane to me, without getting an emergency fund. And once again, I told him, do not do that. Do not stack like that. And he was only stacking for maybe, I don't know, it was probably four or five months. And at this time, prices have gone back up. And we're, we're, it was at around the 17 price range, 1650 around 17, around there. And then he lost his, no, was it, no, he didn't lose his job, what was it? Oh, the price dropped, the price dropped down to, on silver, 
down to like $14 and he panicked. He panicked and sold everything. Even though I told him, don't do that. That's the worst thing you can do. He panicked, he said, silver's going to $10. He'll, he'll rebuy it at $10. And, and mind you, he was stacking for the right reasons at, in the beginning as far as, you know, he wanted it for a long-term hold. You know, he, he, knew, he knew it was an inflation, protecting against inflation. He, he knew all about the money printing and everything like that, what, what most of us look at. And for some reason, he just could not hold on to it. He was scared. And, and he had the naysayers convince him that silver was going down to $10. So he sold it for a loss once again. And I heard from him maybe two more times and the other times he was just so depressed. So the moral of the story, guys, is don't, don't let these price drops scare you out of silver just because... Um, you know, you're concerned that you're going to lose money. The nice thing about silver is it has intrinsic value. Um, that's so funny. Actually, I had a question on my Atlantis Mint, um, <laughs> my Atlantis Mint video where, where you know, it was, it was asking the question if Atlantis Mint was out of business or not. And, and they asked me, they're like, oh no, does that, does that mean that, that those bars aren't worth anything anymore? <laughs> that, that was the funniest comment I've ever heard. Like, um, no. You know, that's one of the reasons why silver is amazing. Silver products are amazing because no matter what happens, as long as they are made of silver, they still have the intrinsic value of silver, people. Uh, so, you know, as long as they're not fake, which they're not, you know, I test all my silver. I have a nice tester and I tested all that on Atlantis Mint and they're all, they're all good. But, um, so unless it's fake, then you are good to go. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what happens to the companies you always will have the intrinsic value of silver. All right, guys, I've rambled enough and I've played with my silver and it's been a good time for me. Whoops. All right, well, I'll show you that too. There we go. I have to pick this all up. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I should have another video for you guys soon. Thanks for watching, everyone.